When people think of rivalries, they usually think of people like Goku or Vegeta, Naruto and Sasuke, or Gon and Killua. But what I like to think about is like gaming rivalries, things like between Sega and Nintendo. What I'm talking about is like these two franchises have actually been in the ring, actually up to recently with the new Game Choice Awards. I'm talking about the God of Wars Kratos and the Elden Ring to Tarnish. Now both characters have their prayers plethora of fighting against gods, monsters, and all the above. But like, can these two really go at each other equally in terms of the fight? Or will it be a one-sided stomp? Or is it an undetermined fight? Or who knows, maybe they'll just end up being friends at the end. With all that aside, with Elden Ring taking the number one victory and actually winning the game choice awards, let's see if Kratos can tie it in or if the Tarnish will claim his final victory. Now before we get on to just truly how strong and fast Kratos is, we have to go over our controversial topic, did Kratos get any weaker from God of War 3? Now unless most of the controversy comes from, he actually didn't get any weaker. Now one of my main points is the fact that I was actually asked by the creator, hey who would win? Now mind you, this is just 2018 God of War Kratos, right? It was asked who would win, young Kratos from the Olympia era versus the new Mid Norse, you know. Kratos and it was answered by the you know creator that he, old Kratos you know the Norse Kratos would win without a doubt now a lot of people can say okay what does this mean now is this contradicted not really at all actually because even the inverse and even outverse well I mean my outverse even the comic books that they made for like the PlayStation Kratos is holding back and now it's actually even way more apparent in the new Ragnarok but even inside the 2018 he's holding back against Balder all these people he is not he's trying to turn over a new leaf as a shred from this destruction path that he took on he does not want to be like that anymore he's trying to undercover this new sense of hope which I'll get back to that later on and and just like I said, in Ragnarok, it's way more apparent. Literally at the start of the game, when you fight Thor, Thor is actually saying that he knows of his past. He he actually questions, you know my past? He said, yes, the ghost of Sparta, the man that killed an entire pantheon, because they killed, you know, hurt his little feelings, right? He knows of his past. He knows, and of course, Odin would tell him the stuff, and that's probably how he knows, or just, it's so wide knowledge that this man killed the entire Greek pantheon, which would include, you know, of course, Zeus and the other big three. Now, the fact that these people and you know they know who these people are they know who zeus all this he's literally knows his past right even one question kratos literally said then you know what i'm capable of and it's just the whole fight he is saying you're insulting me holding back show me the real god of war why are you holding back he's literally saying he refers to this as a lesser version of himself and he wants the god of war and kind of funny enough when he shows him just a little sliver of his power but just punched him one time he did dip now i'm not saying he could have not taken more than one punch and obviously i'm not even saying that that kratos used all this full power from the past is again he was also very fatigued because he did technically die and take a beating by himself like he let himself take that beating because he did not want to go all out right again and he even after you know thor left he was kind of fine he just kind of walked it off he healed and went after to go get atreus again right he was casually able just to practically almost one shot thor and he was just like, yeah i'm a dip that's who you are right now there was also very apparent and not just from thor and it's kind of funny at the beginning of the game they mentioned but even odin in his conversations with odin we do see that even odin's trying to say yo we need your kid he's the key da 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 right and even like kratos is like you return my son or you will meet the god i once was and of course if thor knows who all these people were that he killed including zeus even odin would know hell even the creator once said before a topic once that could be discussed is odin versus zeus in which even like kratos is not one to toot his own horn he knows what he's capable of even he's mentioned before that he has killed gods greater than heimdall he really this whole time right he's not really he's literally saying he's still capable of this power but he holds back and he's saying if you don't return my son i will show you who i am and again kratos is not one to toot his own horn even back in the day when he was a lot more angry right he did not go after the gods he knew he couldn't beat he needed to get his power ups he needed to regain his old power back in the god of war one through three literally he, like he didn't even confront Ares until the whole pandora box he opened it and all that stuff until he gained you know then he at the end he fought him even again against god of war two he had to go back in time to stop himself from losing his power again kratos is not one to two his own horn the fact that he is saying this whole time you know what i'm capable of i will show you the power i once am shows even in lore 
he's holding back and just from the even on screen showings in verse and the you know other stuff he is you know this strong even the feats also show the fact that he's stronger going the fact that Uterosil something that transcends time and space in Thor slapping someone so hard Yorgamonger back through time these are feats that were never shown young Kratos could ever perform and again I'll get back to how what this means in the portion of skill but I just have to show you the fact that within on screen showing of feats and even lore and just statements from characters Norse Kratos is so much vastly stronger hell Kratos literally takes drops from Yudrasil and power up and the power ups are minuscule they're like it's, you don't even have to do it it's just something you can do to make yourself a little easier he is so much stronger that something that transcends time and space gives him minuscule power ups and this is just stuff that was never shown or, or implied in the past days not to mention it's even stated by the creator that even Kratos still contains a little bit of the power of hope which I'll show right now somebody that actually stayed positive that had hope right is so antithetical to Kratos but actually so much of giving you an insight into his inner life right that, that sure. there is a desire that little bit of hope that he didn't give to mankind that he left inside of there but locked way deep inside so and as you see this all the directions show that Kratos has just been holding back as stated many times when he actually does go out he would be as strong if not vastly stronger than his you know young self and with that out of the way now we can actually move on just truly strong and fast Kratos is now when going over Kratos' power and speed, I kind of already went over some of his feats, so I'm really just going to give context on what the feats are and what they really mean to the all-around tier in our system of skin for Kratos. So if we're going over Kratos, something I already mentioned is Yudrasil. Why Yudrasil is important to Kratos, I'll explain, but first let me explain what is important about Yudrasil in the first place. So it's stated by Freya that Yudrasil actually is, well we already know Yudrasil is the world tree, it contains all the realms, everything rests upon its branches, but I'm I'm not really going to context for that the context i'm going into the fact that yudrasil has actually stated that just the strands of the tree itself so not even the branches just the strands embedded in the trees so like the you know go outside you see the little strand on the tree yeah that right just every strand transcends time and space making the strands itself being fifth dimensional or like high multiversal plus but what's even more important about that that's actually stated that there are infinite branches that stretch on infinitely meaning if there are infinite branches branches you know that are stretching for infinitely that means there are infinite strands in those branches meaning just even there are infinite strands that transcend time and space and then there's the branches that are infinitely greater than that so you really just see the paint the picture that basically that at least the lowest of balls that you sill right is infinite 5d or like really high in high multiversal plus and there's actually two of ways you can scale kratos to this one the fact that it was just stated that when the fight between thor and yorgamander when they clash they actually splintered the world tree and just for uh you know for reference this is what a splinter tree looks like you know pretty big damage is even felt across all the nine realms and again and the other way you can scale this which i did mention is that during the whole game of god war 2018 kratos can go around the map and actually you know eat or absorb these dewdrops of Yudrasil, which are just so minuscule it doesn't really give them that much you need to collect a lot to kind of give them an actual noticeable amp so there's two ways you can scale this one that he is able to dick down thor quite casually as two he can actually just he actually just absorbs its power as well so he has two ways of scaling to this making his ap would also scale to this you know high multiversal plus spectrum and speed again it's also very easy i'm going back to his days back in the god of war he can point blankly dodge helios's light which is stayed to light up the infinite hades which is you know hades is infinite so meaning him dodge and i can even quantify for infinite speed but honestly there's so much better stuff like him actually being above zeus Kronos, who are also above the primordials who fought before time even existed due to Kronos not being born his birth brought upon time meaning they existed before time existed giving them at least inaccessible speed and again you can go even higher with something I did kind of go in the fact that when Thor was fighting Yorgamonger he hit him so hard he was sent through time now mind you Thor does not have any 
like time related powers even mimir like talks about how this is just something like he just had this strength to do it meaning the fact that he can hit someone so hard that the kinetic energy from him passed on to Jorgenmonger was immeasurable because he could send him back through time this is consistent because they could splinter the world tree which again is stated to transcend time and space so we basically have two statements of basically of them giving a measurable speed by one doing sp scaling to the world tree which again transcends time and space and you know again thor hit Jorgamander so hard he went back through time which is just blatantly immeasurable speed so basically kratos is high multiversal plus like really high in high multiversal plus in terms of speed he's just like immeasurable speed it's really that easy and in terms of hacks i usually like to go over hacks in the conclusion see what they'll matter so if they if if they even matter in the first place so basically yeah you're gonna see that's it for now now let's go on to the tarnished so moving on into the tarnish now something to note is that the tarnish eventually will scale above or at least to most of the bosses or characters in the game and something i want to say real quick now going into elden ring it's actually really hard to find feats for the verse because it's not really more feat dependent it's actually more shown to be more of just for story game mechanics or lore and most of the fandom actually have a hard time to find feats so i really had a lot while but i want deep dive i'm trying to give the most possible strongest i can make the tarnish to be i asked a lot of friends I've played the game many times and I've had other people help me anyway so on to like where this scale so something to note one of the people one of the most impressive feats in verse we see actually is the fact that Radon actually was able to crush the stars so stated many times that he wanted to challenge the very stars itself and when he gained his gravity magic you know that's when he thought he could challenge the very stars he was actually able to later on crush them and even conceal them and also just just hold them back with just mere presence like he was passively able to hold back stars so just judging by this clip he's possibly holding back thousands potentially hundreds of thousands more likely even millions of stars so after you kill them they're all just leaking out they're all just going back to where they're supposed to be so this is an easy multi-solar system level feat and potentially even galaxy to multi-galaxy because you also have to incorporate the astronomical unit distance between each star and there's a hell of a lot of them as you can see see and of course you are able to beat him and you also fight people that scale above radon as well so yeah this feat it kind of scales to you be at bare minimally multi-solar system but again you can even argue multi-galaxy but bear i would say a good amount is around galaxy level now if you want to give benefit of the doubt by stars he means all the stars in the existence if we just assume that the elden ring universe is comparable to our own which at bare minimum be right that would actually mean it just 0.4 percent of our universe Universe is composed of stars so if you take the universal output which is around 2.825 times 10 to the 92 joules and then just to, you know 0.4 percent of that would be around 1.13 times 10 to the 90 joules which is very high in multi-galaxy level practically you know it's almost universal but a little bit off around maybe a 10 to 20 difference give or take right so if you now that's giving the benefit of the doubt that radon actually is holding back all the stars in existence which there's really no implication that he did or didn't i'm just saying the benefit of the doubt which i'll explain later on why i'm doing this without the way there's a potential way to maybe get them higher it's the fact that if you take the course of becoming the friend lead flame outer god at the end of the game he is say that he actually despises life and he wants to destroy all life potentially revert everything back to the erase the singularity of matter and on screen we do see he is technically not just killing people but burning the entire area which if you want to argue maybe he wants to destroy the entire universe that could make sense if you take the fact that radon has these star level stuff and if you want to assume again not confirm but assume he held back all the stars in existence and if you just assume like these guys are just can easily make up the since he's an outer god it can be all those times difference you can even your own equipment can amp you probably higher than enough to do it you could potentially argue the frenzy flame outer god could maybe be universal and hence when you become the extension of him you could potentially be universal as well but again that's only based off the fact that 
we're assuming that he the frenzy god itself means he will destroy the universe as well as based on the fact that potentially radon was holding back all the stars in existence which is honestly you can maybe say that but like i'm just giving the benefit of the doubt here now for speed it's a lot easier to go over because what's actually blatantly say that one of the dragon gods its seat actually lies beyond time and of course you can fight this dragon god i believe his name is alpaca pekka something like that i can't pronounce it but you get the point now the fact that he is seat and he can chill there for a long long time he chilled there in a place that's beyond time that would mean he would have immeasurable speed quite you know casually of course you can beat him which would mean you also have immeasurable speed so to kind of wrap it up the tarnish has casually multi-solar system you can maybe argue galaxy and that's like galaxy maybe multi-galaxy and those things are all credible if you really want to assume that it's all the stars and it can maybe further support multi-galaxy level and maybe universal if you want to give the absolute benefit of the doubt in terms of speed you can also get them to immeasurable speed and again hacks i'll go over in the conclusions to see if they'll be relevant if at all and i'll mention now for this all the way let's get on to the conclusion of this and before we move on to conclusions i just like to say if you guys have made it this far don't forget to like comment and subscribe it really means a lot to the channel and i really am trying to get a past 1000 before the end of the year so if you can do that it really mean a lot now on to the conclusions if you can tell by the stats i've laid out it's a complete wash in kratos's favor he drastically out scales in ap as him having bare minimally infinite 5d with ap and in terms of the tarnish with wink you can maybe give him the universal but he more comfortably scales into the multi solar system galaxy potentially multi-galaxy i really did over hype and wink a lot of radons as well as the frenzy flames feats just to potentially give him the universe because i really wanted to give him the most benefit of the doubt and kratos's hand i really didn't even go into any detail i just gave some baseline feats which if i was on a scale for kratos specifically or even going over stuff i would have gone more in detail because you can actually get this way higher than what i presented so he drastically casually outscales in terms of ap even the transcending time and space with it being 5d was something super casual he scales to and in terms of speed yes they both have you can argue for a measurable speed but the difference is that the dragon lord has potentially measurable speed because he can and chill in a place beyond time of course you can fight and beat him but the thing about that is that kratos one thor casually slapped your commander back through time which it would be even more apparent for a measurable speed the potential being beyond time but aside from that just the fact that the yudrasil is actually beyond time and space which would also equate if you could affect it for example since kratos can not only thor can not only affect it by actually hitting it where it splinters while fighting your commander Longer, but the fact that Kratos actually can take this Drew power from it, which is so minuscule to him that you really don't even need to do it. It's just a part of the game you couldn't do. It would also equate for him having these small slivers of transcending time and space, literally means nothing. He's infinite. This basic having immeasurable speed type power is almost nothing compared to him while he's holding back and being very casual about this. So in terms of speed and AP, he drastically outscales him. And in terms of hacks, now, hacks get a little more dicey because the fact that, well, one, let's just assume that the clear power and speed advantage wasn't actually here. We have to go into the fact that, what does it mean? Because Kratos, if I'm using a composite Kratos, and that means I would logically give him all of his magical abilities and weapons he acquired back in the day. Because actually the only way he to be inferior to his previous self was actually addressed in Ragnarok and was stated that he actually just lost his magical powers he lost which also does make sense because he did lose a lot of his weapons you can even see he doesn't really have besides the blades of chaos now with him losing most of his magical powers then he would i would logically say he could probably have the abilities of stuff he has shown inside ragnarok or the stuff he did keep excluding stuff like his other weapons he has attained over the years and with the tarnish thing remember every character of the tarnish is very individual they hadn't gained any spell they want but it's also based off the the character so it really depends like am i giving this guy 
like every ability in the game and by giving Kratos all of his weapons. But all in all, even in terms of hacks, really Kratos outskills in that too, having conceptual manipulation, the fact that he is literally using the abstractual um, concept of hope and can even banish the abstractual fear concept of fear as well as even thanatos and stuff and there's just so much stuff he has and of course he has the massive fate manipulation there's just so much stuff he has not just barely skipping the top of the stuff he even excluding the hacks uh, shown he's drastically skills above anything that the tarnish has ever faced which he would just be able to probably blunt forcefully overpower any hacks he has since it's never shown the capability to even compare to kratos all in all kratos could literally just come up and and just kind of slice him in half and be done with his day. He'd basically be fighting one of the side villains you see like while you're walking throughout the map. It would be very easy for him to take care of the tarnish. It's really not close at all. I drastically overhyped and wanked a lot of the tarnish's feats. And I very well lowballed a lot of Kratos's. This is really unfair. Now, I going into this, I actually thought this would be a lot more easier. It might have been a lot more fair to fight. But it turns out it, it really isn't. And um, yeah, that'll be all. There's really nothing else to go over. Kratos has taken the dub very, very easily, like low to no diff at all. And yeah, that'll be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching this. I really hope you guys like the editing. I, I want to like, I'm trying to, you know, future this channel a lot more. I'm trying to put more development into it. You guys, I'm starting to get, I'm almost going to be to have thousands soon. So I got to have good editing and tell me guys what you think. You know, uh, videos might be taking a little longer to make, but with quality like this, who's to judge? Don't forget to join the Discord in the link description below, and that'll be all. Mr. Crafty, out.